Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through a powerful vinyasa yoga flow. This flow is catered to all levels and I'll be showing you all modifications here and there in case you're a beginner and we're going to sweat, flow and breathe together. It's going to be so much fun. And without any further ado, let's get it started. Before we start our actual flow, we are going to get into some deep stretches, hands onto your knee, we are going in for hip circles. And we're going to reverse the circles anti-clockwise getting deeper down, curling your back and pushing your chest forward. You're going to slide your right hand down, extending your left arm to stretch for your side body. Switch. Back stretch as we take our right hand behind, you're gonna cut across with your left. Try to push, turn behind and look to feel the stretch on your mid back and your lower back. And you're gonna take your time to switch. Extend your right leg, fold in your left, and you're going to flex and point your toes underneath, contracting your hamstrings. As you slide your right hand down to the leg, you're going to extend for your left side body. Beautiful, a lat stretch. And if you can, I want you to drop down, squaring your hips, reaching down as much as you can. And you're going to reach up, pivot your legs down, press it down to the mat. Your hands pressing to the mat as well. You're going to adjust your body and we're going in for the pigeon pose. Extend your right arm. Great to create more flexibility for the hips and the hip flexors. And once you're ready, we're going to reverse the stretch. You're going to drop your right hand down to the right leg. Extend your left arm down, back. Beautiful hip opener and great for the back as well. Once you're ready, you're going to plant both your hands down back to the mat. Lift your body and try to sit on the leg that's bent in front of you. Beautiful to open up your hip flexors. You can even sway your body going in for little organic movements. Drop your elbows down, drawing deeper into the stretch as we inhale and exhale, pressing your legs down to the mat. And once we are good, I want you to raise yourself up nice and slow. You're going to switch legs. You're going to do the same thing on the other side, drawing deeper to the left side this time. Flex and point your toes underneath, feeling the beautiful stretch behind your leg, creating more flexibility. And slide your hand down, reach for your right arm and drop yourself down, folding forward. Inhale and exhale in this space. And once you're ready, reach both your arms to the other side, pivot your leg down, the left leg. Try to drop down to the mat as much as you can. Get deeper into the stretch, open up even further as we extend the arm, lengthen your back, keep the back flat and lift your body, sit on the front leg and sway your body left to right, opening up for your hip flexors.
and if you're good drop the elbows down press through the front of your leg and keep a breathing and I want you to raise yourself up sitting to the length of the mat bending your knees right in front of you you're going in for the knee drops dropping your left knee down to the left side and slowly following along with your right try to twist your body beautiful for the lower back get to the center and switch try to drop your knees down to the mat if you possibly can And back to the center I want you to sit in the diamond position feet together and you're going in for the butterfly flaps and then you can try and get hold of your toes and fold yourself forward feels so good for the lower back take a moment to breathe Few more stretches to go before we get into our actual flow. I want you to get yourself up, come onto the all fours position. Your hands are right underneath the shoulder blades and your toes are curled underneath. I want you to arch your back, gazing up to the ceiling, staying here for a couple of deep breaths. And once you go with that, let's do the cat and the cow stretch, peeling your spine up to the ceiling and arching your back as you gaze up inhale exhale down get the airflow in and going for that beautiful spinal wave and let's start out with our first round of vinyasa flow i want you to raise yourself up nice and strong for the downward facing dog press your palms down to the mat and if you are a beginner, I want you to lift your heels off the mat and bend your knees. This is going to make you feel even better if you are a beginner. And try to press your body down towards your legs, getting deeper into the stretch. And once you're ready, I want you to bring both your legs in towards each other. And you're going to lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Point your toes. Extend your leg without bending your knee. And if you can, you're going to bend your leg and you're going to bring the knee forward towards the gateway between the elbows. A giant leap forward and try to extend and move your body back and forth, opening up your glutes, opening up the hip flexors. And as we stay here in this deep lunge, you're going to press your left palm down, extend your right arm up to the ceiling, gazing towards the right beautiful reverse twist try to open up your chest and as we drop back again to the reverse lunge drop the knee down and bend your leg point your toes underneath drop your leg down and reach up for the high lunge again and preparing your body for a full plank you're going to take your right leg behind, staying nice and strong for the plank. And let's drop ourselves for Chaturanga, dropping your knees down, your chest down as you arch your back and reaching up for the upward facing dog. I want you to gaze up, look up to the ceiling. Curl your toes underneath and prepare your body to sit back for the child's pose. Round two of our vinyasa flow is to complete the entire sequence on the left side. So raise yourself up for the downward facing dog, pressing your palms down, pressing the heels down, stretching for your hamstrings. As we lift our left leg off the mat, Point your toes underneath if that feels good. 
bending your knees and bringing the knee in between the gateway of your elbows. Holding it here, swaying your body back and forth. Pressing the right hand down this time, extending your left for the reverse twist. And drop the knee down, bend your leg, point your toes and sway your body back and forth. Curling the toes underneath, preparing your body for a full plank. Hold your core tight and modified chaturanga as shown up and reaching up for the upward facing dog curling your toes underneath and sitting back to complete our flow in the child's pose And moving on to round three of our vinyasa flow, curling your toes, raising yourself up for the downward facing dog, nice and strong. As we bring our feet together inside, extend your right leg up, pointing your toes underneath as usual and bringing your leg in between your hands for a giant leap forward for the big lunge. And once you're ready, I want you to prepare your body to raise yourself up for the warrior one. Extend your arms up to the ceiling, nice and strong, just like a warrior. You're gonna go in for little pulses as we get deeper into this pose. And folding forward, collapsing and reaching back for the full plank nice and strong again we are going in for the chaturanga modified version as shown in the screen raising up for the downward facing dog as we complete the other side Extend your left leg this time up to the ceiling, point your toes. Bending your knees as we're going for the giant leap, right in between your hands. Raising yourself up for warrior one, lengthening your back. Going for little pulses, getting deeper to the pose. And folding down, reaching back for the full plank. Chaturanga, drop down, raising up for the upward facing dog, gazing up to the ceiling. Curl your toes and sit back for the child's pose as we complete this round. Round five of our vinyasa flow. Getting on to tabletop position. As we curl the toes underneath, raising up for the downward facing dog, planting the palms and the feet down to the mat as we press through the shoulders. Bringing your legs towards each other, you're gonna inhale, extend your right leg up to the ceiling. Inhale as we exhale for the big lunge. Raising yourself up for the warrior one, nice and strong as we stay here for a couple of deep breaths. And going in for a variation, you're going to open for warrior two. Please make sure your left leg faces the front and your right leg is to the side and your gaze is towards the right as well. Inhale, you're going to drop your right arm down to the right leg and extend for your left side body. Beautiful lengthening through the sides. 
and once you're ready you're going to drop down reach back for the full plank you're going to complete the entire flow as we drop down for chaturanga reaching up for the upward facing dog gazing up to the ceiling curling your toes underneath reaching back for the downward facing dog as we complete the flow on the other side bring your legs in towards each other lifting your left leg up to the ceiling bending your knees for the giant leap forward in between your hands position yourself for warrior one nice and tall back and finishing off with warrior two dropping your elbow down to the leg and extending for your side body collapsing down reposition yourself getting back for the full plank and dropping ourselves for chaturanga gazing up for the upward facing dog curling your toes reaching back for the child's pose great job i want you to stay here for a couple of deep breaths as you close your eyes and drop that forehead down to the mat unwind your body let's wrap up our vinyasa flow by getting down to the downward facing dog and marching your legs forward nice and slow down to the center of the mat i want you to go in for the rag doll holding your elbows and try to bend down from the lower back drop that head down heavy close your eyes if that feels good and sway your body left to right breathe out with your mouth and breathe in through your nose inhale and exhale we're going to get in for some deep squatting for this i want you to plant your hands down spread your legs and I want you to bring your heels together and your toes apart like a V shape bending your knees and sitting down for the deep squat lifting your heels from the mat and raising yourself up down as we lift your heels up as we straighten the knees inhaling down and exhale up take it nice and slow stretching and creating that great flexibility through your legs back of your legs your hamstrings from here we are beginning to get into malasana or the garland pose for this i want you to spread your legs getting your glutes down towards your heels as much as you can no worries if your heels doesn't touch the mat stay wherever you are separate your knees while bending deeper and pulling your palms down in front of your heart try to push your legs with the help of your elbows in that way we're drawing deeper into the pose malasana is really good for pelvic floor health and it's great for stimulating proper digestion just stay here focusing on your breathing and let's prepare our body to come to a seated position to the center of the mat i want you to bring your legs in front of you in the diamond pose hold on to your ankles and you're going to take your right hand behind extend your left arm going in for that mid back twist stretch and as we stay here i want you to wave your hand your left hand in that way we're getting deeper into your left shoulder blade creating great mobility for the upper body and taking your time to switch this time taking your left hand behind extend your right and go in for the waves
And once we're done with that, I want you to take both your hands right behind you, going in for the back release, gazing up to the ceiling, stretching for your neck. We have come to the last segment for this class. We are going to hit the mat, just lie down. We're going to finish off with some feel good stretches and flow. Tucking your knees in towards your chest, swaying your legs back and forth, lifting the tailbone off the mat. As we ease off our lower back, I want you to go in for knee circles. You're going to do five circles clockwise. And switch five circles anti-clockwise. Taking your time and unwinding your back and your entire body. We're going to finish off with some deep back stretches. For this, you're going to take your right leg over to the left leg. And you're going to drop both your legs towards the left side of the room. Extending your right arm, gazing towards the right. Try to twist feeling the beautiful, beautiful stretch on your back. You can even extend your leg further down. And let's switch and do the same thing on the other side. This time you're going to extend your left arm, gazing towards the left side and breathing through this stretch. And now for a deep pelvis stretch, you're going to keep your feet together and you can open your knees, flapping out for the butterfly, deep stretching through the inner thighs and the groin region. As we lift our legs up, you're going to get hold of your heels, open your legs out for the happy baby and you're going to sway your body side to side. This stretch is a really good one to unwind and relax and feel good. And one last stretch as we extend your legs down, extend your arms over your head. We're getting into the full body stretch as you lengthen, arching your back. Sealing our practice with Shavasana or the corpse pose. I want you to drop both your hands down by the side. I want you to close your eyes, connect with your body. I want you to spend a minute on your breathing, just focusing on your breath as we inhale through our nose and exhaling out as we relax. And when you're ready to end the practice with me, I want you to start by wiggling your toes, moving your fingers, and bringing an awareness to the body as we give little organic movements. And slowly raising ourselves up. And gently guiding ourselves to a seated position in the center. I want you to go in for one big inhale up to the ceiling, palms together. And exhale, let's guide our hands down to heart center. Let's bow down and seal our practice in honor of our time on the mat. Thank you so much for doing this along with me. It was truly an honor for me to guide you through it. Until next time, namaste.